What's going on guys? DigiDestin here and uh, another pickup video. Awesome. Um, I know I say that every single video and that's probably going to be the case because I have no other way of opening these videos. Um, but this week was great. Um, lots of great stuff. Um, mostly from not thrifting actually, but uh, just finding things at the retail, uh, picking some stuff up from people I know and uh, along and I finally closed out a, a deal that I was, you know, trying to work on and uh, with a buddy of mine for a while. So, first thing, I want to go through some retail pickups. Um, I know it's not much. You probably may or may not be interested in this. Uh, found some good Hot Wheels. So um, my fiance and I like to collect Hot Wheels, as you can tell by all this here. And um, we have a lot more, but. Every now and then we come across a store that is well stocked in some of the newer models, the newer cases, and um, we found some good ones here. So we have <clears throat> these six, and uh, we got some uh, some old school 55s here, or 56, 55. These are pretty cool too. Uh, I really like the paint apps on this one. So uh, just, just a few Hot Wheels. Next thing is from Half Price Books. It's an issue of The Flash, or All Flash, I should say. Um, this one's number one. I think this one might be just a one-off. I don't know. I've never seen this issue before. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more research. I probably should have done that before starting this video. But uh, it's another cool one that I don't have for my collection. And uh, excited to, to figure out what it's all about. Next game, or next pickup is actually a game, also from Half Price Books. So this one is actually for a system I don't have. Um, I've been looking for this system for a while. I don't really want to spend too much for it because there's only maybe one or two games that I'd want to play on it. But it's for the PSP. And the game is Hammer and Hero, made by Atlas. But uh, it was eight bucks at Half price books, it was complete, and um, I think this game usually goes for about 30 in in a complete condition, so this wasn't a bad pickup. Next thing I got, I'm super excited for, um, huge fan of Castlevania, it's by far one of my favorite franchises uh, ever, um, and Mondo recently released uh, a vinyl record for the soundtrack for the original Castlevania. But they also released, more recently than that, uh, the soundtrack for Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. So this is the vinyl here. This is the artwork. It's original artwork. And uh, if you look at the back, there's the werewolf on the back. And this is licensed video game music from uh, Simon's Quest. And... Uh, for, for Mondo, they like to do variants and collectibles like this, and uh, I know that there was a night and day variant where half the record was like a lighter shade of like a yellow to represent day, and then there's like a, a navy blue to represent night. Uh, this one is in that variant, unfortunately. I missed out on the sale on that one. Those were limited, um, but I think they're the same price nonetheless, and I'm just excited to have it in general because I'm a huge fan of soundtracks, huge fan of Castlevania. I'm just getting into vinyl records, so, um, or at least vinyl records for video game soundtracks. So this is like a must buy. Okay, the last set of pickups uh, is huge. I mentioned earlier that I was working on a deal with a buddy of mine, or a new buddy of mine. Uh, his name is Frank. Thank you, Frank. Um, last year, it, it took it almost it took almost a year to to work out this deal, but last year I bought some some complete in box Super Nintendo games off offer up. Uh, from this guy and it uh, seems like a really cool dude you know um, he is very reasonable in terms of price um, very great seller and my fiance actually found him on offer up and the the great thing about you know meeting people that are you know that are willing to to sell to you and uh, friendly and you know just great people all together um, it's really good to network with them and so what I did after I, I met up with him and bought those Super Nintendo games was you know exchange contact information I let him know if 
uh, if he does end up selling anything else or if he finds anything else that he wants to get rid of uh, you know you can let me know and I'll definitely be interested as a buyer that sort of thing I didn't hear from him for like a long long time I think it was close to you know six seven months and eventually he texted me and let me know that he, f he found some stuff or he has some stuff that he wants to get rid of and he asked if I was interested and uh, this is the stuff here we finally you know worked out a price and uh, a meeting time since he's very busy I'm very busy as well and uh, I met up with him picked up the stuff and now I have it here to show you and I'm super super excited to have all this in my collection so uh, first thing I want to show you is a copy of Super Mario Advance Player's Choice complete in the box next one is Super Mario Bros. from the classic NES series. Next one, <clears throat> another game you can't get enough of. It's The Legend of Zelda. Classic NES series for the Game Boy Advance. But I don't have these ones, so I'm excited to have these in my collection now. I'm gonna get some box protectors for those. Next thing, <clears throat> it is a complete inbox. Game Boy Advance SP. It's the red model. And if you're wondering, it is the AGS001. So the AGS001 is the first, uh, or some of the first ones that came out. Uh, it has the front lit screen, so it's still lit. But uh, later on, they released the AGS101, and that has a backlit. It's a much brighter and much clearer screen. So this is very cool. It's, it's complete. You know, it has all the the inserts and the manuals even has the bags that comes with it uh, this bag goes to the charger which is on the other side um, he was testing it out before I came and picked it up but yeah complete inbox uh, Game Boy Advance SP you can never get enough of complete systems and all of this stuff is in awesome shape uh, took, he took real good care of his his you know his games and his consoles I know he's got a whole bunch of other stuff too that uh, he hasn't shown me but either way you know I know it's in good hands and and that's one of the reasons why he he sold it to me he knew it'd go to someone that would take care of it or you know put it on display and and, and show it off and stuff but yeah <clears throat> next thing in the fine and next thing in the bundle that he sold me is uh, a gold Nintendo 64 controller next thing uh, was a freebie he decided to throw this in it is the new Super Mario Bros. Wii uh, wristlet set. So this is a uh, wrist straps that went on to the, the Wii remotes. And this is actually from Japan. And it is a, a Club Nintendo Japan exclusive. You can see that there. Next thing, uh, part of the pickup, next game actually, it is Super Glove Ball for the Nintendo NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System part of the Power Glove gaming series. So I don't know how many games were part of that series, but this is one of them. And leading into that, this was actually the main part of the deal. The, the big, you know, coup de gras of the bundle. He had a Power Glove that he was looking to get rid of, or looking to sell, I guess, or pass it on, I should say. Um, and I have never owned a power glove. I've always wanted to have one. Uh, I just always thought it was cool, you know, seeing it in commercials or uh, seeing it in pictures or seeing it in The Wizard, that movie, you know, with uh, Fred Savage. And uh, I, I wanted it just because it looked cool. He had this power glove complete in the box. And this is the large size. So it was, it was available in two sizes. It was like a large and a small, I believe. And uh, one was for kids, one was more for adults. But <clears throat> he had uh, this complete in box. And uh, of course, I, just, I couldn't resist because I wanted a power glove so bad um, for my collection. And he just happened to have one. And not only did he have one, he had one complete in box. Power glove program guide in the bag it's got everything you know I, I take it out of the bag here 
It's got these uh, Velcro straps for the sensor pads. Um, I mentioned the wizard earlier. It's the wizard advertisement for, uh, you know, t-shirts and watches. Your uh, instruction guide. Another instruction booklet here on how to use it. All in great shape. Um, and you got this one, simple instructions and operating tips. Apparently this thing needed three booklets of instruction. But my favorite part, other than the glove itself, is uh, this poster that it came with. The Power Glove Challenge. And uh, shows you some of the games that you can play with the Power Glove. And then here it is, the Power Glove in the, in the box, I guess. Another warning label, but it's in awesome shape. It's even got the twist ties that are holding it in place. Uh, repackaged. He repackaged it very nicely. Um, he said it didn't get much use at all. And I can definitely tell. I mean, if you look at the inside of it, it's it's in awesome shape. Like it's all white, no yellowing. Uh, the elastic nylon. Is this nylon? It's still all good. You know, the spandex, the rubber's nice and clean. It's not like scuffed up or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's the Power Glove. Very cool, very awesome. Excited to have this. Uh, a little bit more obscure accessory for collecting for the NES. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for my pickups for this week. Um, if you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you didn't, do those things anyway. Uh, you know, I really appreciate all your support, uh, all your likes, comments, and your views. Um, please check out my other videos. I've got tips, tricks, gameplay, more pickups. I even have a room tour now, uh, which you can check out. Hopefully, I'll be able to update that uh, every so often if it, things change. But... Again, thanks for viewing, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.